Hello, Paul Hamilton here for iPad Monthly. We're going to have a look at this fun little activity. I guess it's a little bit of a, a mixture between um, art and looking at uh, 2D shapes and so forth. So we've opened up Book Creator. Um, I'll just click on it a little bit. We're going to incorporate just some basic shapes. We're going to maybe bring in some pictures. We're going to get um, kids building knowledge about perspective. Um, the further away it is, the, the smaller it looks and those sort of things, just through using basic shapes. So how do we do this? Well, it's really quite simple. So I'm going to select just a big landscape piece in, in Book Creator. I'm going to go to the plus. Uh, top right-hand corner, we've got our other shapes. So let's start off with some rectangles, and we'll just build the actual stage. Uh, so let's go with blue sky. We can change that color if we want. Snaps into position really well. And we might do a, a similar one. So I'm going to hold my finger down, which some people don't know that you can do in Book Creator. I'm going to copy that and paste it. Move that down a little bit, overlap it, and press the eye and just change that color to maybe some grass color. So there we've got just a really good stage here. Now we can lock that. That's the other thing that people don't realize with the book creator. We can actually lock those two objects. So I'm gonna hold my finger down because I really don't want them moving around. And then it's just a case of building in some perspective. So talking to kids about what happens when things get a little bit further away. So if I get a triangle, and I change that color to, let's make the road uh, white, and I bring that down to the horizon and bring that out, all of a sudden we've got a concept of it looks like it's going towards the road. Um, so we can start to build in perspective. We can bring in um, maybe the sun for the background, uh, which sits on top of the uh, horizon there. And we'll just make that like an orangey color. That looks quite good and build that there, and then we can build in some other things. And you can take it a probably a one step further if you like to do your perspective drawing. You can put definitely buildings in the background and that. We can bring in some of those um, royalty-free images from iPad Monthly if we want. I'm just going to photo, I'll see if I grab a couple of, uh, see if I've got any trees there. So we might bring in a, um, a little bit of a branch that kind of comes over the side. Now, if that's close to us, it's obviously going to be bigger, so it can hang there. Um, then we might bring in another tree that goes in the background. Um, and the finished product, um, if I look at the other one, we can go a little bit further, uh, is, is something like that, which I think is pretty cool, especially for littleies. Exploring 2D shapes, you can see I've got two rectangles in the background. Uh, you could also bring in, if you like, uh, you could bring in some pen features. So you might bring in a little bit of smoke that's coming from the um, uh, from here. So you could actually build a whole... Um, uh, a whole piece of artwork around this concept, but I think this is a really great way of just talking about perspective, um, looking at 2D shapes. You could put in your cr criteria or task sheet that you need to incorporate um, so many uh, shapes and different kinds of shapes so that you can actually measure if they know what those shapes are or not. But this is just a fantastic way of getting kids involved with Book Creator, simple perspective artwork, and I think a pretty nice effect at the end. Don't forget at the end, if you press the... Um, uh, sorry, if we press the I here, you can actually share the screenshot and that actually makes it a, an image file um, that you could then uh, print off or share with your teacher or do different things as well. So Paul Hamilton here, just finishing up the perspective art with Book Creator, fantastic activity, get kids creating and also consolidating their knowledge of 2D shapes. Paul Hamilton here, signing off.